everybody on the pro forum. Another one Tom Usher wanted me to talk about was he specifically asked was key phrases or wordings or things that build confidence, drive sales higher, things of this sort when it comes to high school seniors. To me, one of the most important things that you can do when it comes to high school seniors is build their confidence. Make sure they have fun. It's all about the fun. It's all about how much fun they're having, whether or not they are having a great experience. So I get kind of personal. I, I tell jokes, I tell stories, just like these little stories that I tell on these little videos. I do exactly the same thing with high school seniors when I'm doing their senior portraits. Um, some of the things that I will do is, you know, I, I make a little joke like, oh my God, I just wish I was me. And I, I get a little chuckle out of people. You know, oh, this, this image is the best. This is the best picture I have ever taken. Look, stop, stop everything. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me show you what this looks like on the back of the camera. And I'll have them all ooh and ah, and it's, sometimes they don't like it. I'm like, what? You don't like it? What don't you like? Don't like. But even that is a positive because it moves me in the right direction as far as to getting the images, the type of image that they want. So think about that when it when it's when when it's shooting time whenever it during the camera actual camera session is make sure that the photography is fun the entire experience now in the sales session when you're sitting there selling with people to me one of the greatest things you can do is make sure there are no surprises none for example let's say you find you've done three or four sessions and everybody wants a canvas portrait uh, after three or four sessions but to add canvas to an order it's an extra hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or whatever it is that you charge to make a portrait canvas well let's say customer after customer after customer when you sit there and have that sales session with them and say oh well it's gonna be an extra hundred dollars or two hundred dollars whatever for canvas they get they're disappointed. Say they're they say a uh, two hundred dollars. Well, uh, why? Okay, then that's a fault on, to me on your your point. This should have been something that was discussed ahead of time. Something that maybe while you're taking the pictures, you could say something like this. You could click. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a beautiful one. I can see it now. Y'all going to want to put this one on the wall. By the way, it would just be in incredible if it was on canvas by the way whenever we upgrade to canvas it's an extra two hundred dollars just just so y'all know that ahead of time because we don't like anybody any surprises we don't like to, to to fool people or anything like that but this print oh my god come here come here come here look at the back of the camera isn't it beautiful can't you just see that on your wall in canvas you can't i know me too it is gonna be fabulous well by addressing that ahead of time, by simply saying it's going to cost you an extra $200 ahead of time, it gives people time to, to process that and you don't have buyer's remorse, you have a smoother sales process, it bumps up the sale, people are happier, you're happier, everybody's happy in the long run. So those are two things, I mean the list of things that, that you can do goes on and on and on and on. But those are, those are two things very specific, and in just a bit of a review, make sure they're having fun, and whatever that is, whether it's jokes, whether it's stories, whether it's just the process, whether you, you stop and show them the back of the camera, whatever the process is, make sure they're having fun, make sure the entire process is fun, uh, their name on, on a board when they walk in, uh, some kind of treat bag, uh, or a bottle of water with their name on it, uh, anything like this, that makes them feel comfortable and have fun. And second of all, no surprises. Make sure there's full disclosure up front, especially if you start noticing that there's some sort of an issue through time, through, through process, and through, through doing stuff, you start noticing that customer after customer is particularly upset about something. So those are just a couple of things. I hope that helps everybody out there. Talk to y'all later, bye.